Hello, I'm Petru and you are watching WellCode and in this video I'm going to teach you how to ask questions in such a way that you'll get the answers quickly and efficiently. You probably found yourself in the following situation. You asked a question online and you didn't get an answer or the answer that you got was not really the answer for your question or the answer was good but it came too late. So in order to avoid this kind of situations, I'm going to teach you how to ask questions so that the answer will be what you need and so that the answer will come very very fast. If you're watching this video on YouTube, don't forget to go on wellcode.com where we have a programming course. You don't need to have any kind of prior experience, you just need to go on wellcode.com and register. Whenever you are solving a problem, there are four steps that you are following. First of all, you read and understand the statement. Second, you th think about a solution. Third, you implement the solution and fourth, you test your solution on your local machine and then you send it on WellCode and hopefully you get 100 points. The third and fourth step regarding implementation and testing the solutions have already been covered in another video on this channel, so I'm going to put a link somewhere around here, so I won't talk about them anymore. The first step regarding reading and understanding the statement is the first place where you can encounter some problems. You may not understand the problem statement, you may not understand how the example is built, so you will probably need to ask a question if you find yourself in this kind of situation. But a lot of people are just asking the following thing. Oh, I don't understand the statement, how can I solve this problem? And please don't do the same thing. Probably the person who wants to answer your question doesn't have any kind of telepathy abilities so he may not be able to guess your thoughts and also probably the person who's answering your questions is a bit lazy or maybe is very lazy and he doesn't want to ask a lot of follow-up questions so be as precise as possible. If you don't understand any kind of math in the statement just ask about that part. If you have to solve the problem where you need to add two numbers together and you don't know why 2 plus 3 equals 5 then you need to ask that specific part in in your question so you can say I don't understand why for 2 and 3 the answer is 5 and you'll probably get an explanation. You don't need to feel embarrassed if you don't understand any kind of basic math you just need to ask the question and probably will get some links which will help you become better at math or better at whatever the topic of the problem is. The second step is coming up with a solution and here you will find the same pattern as at the previous step where there are a lot of people who say oh I'm trying to solve this problem and I don't know how to solve it and you're not giving any kind of information and probably no one wants to write the whole solution or even if it's your lucky day and someone just feels very generous and drops you a solution it doesn't help you achieve your purpose of becoming a good programmer. Here on WellCode we're trying to teach you how to solve new problems because as I said in the introductory video this is what a programmer does. You'll get a new problem, a problem that hasn't been solved until this day and you need to come up with a solution. Even if it's your lucky day and someone just feels very generous and gives you the solution it won't help you achieve your purpose. As I said in the introductory video, on WellCode we're giving you new problems and we want to train your problem solving muscle because that's what a real programmer does. He gets a new problem, a problem which hasn't been solved before and he needs to find a new solution for that. So if you want to become a very good programmer you need to go through all those steps. You need to read and understand the statement, you need to come up with a solution, you need to implement it and then you need to learn how to test it. If you get the correct solution you don't learn anything or maybe you learn how to implement it if it's just the idea of the solution but you're still skipping step one, two and four and those are the most important steps. The implementation is the easiest part of programming after you get some exercise so you're not really following your 
purpose of becoming a good programmer. So if you have any trouble at finding a solution, you may explain what steps you've already taken. You can say, for example, that I managed to read the numbers, I did this kind of operations. Let's say you want to find out if a number is prime and you may say, I know how to read the number, I know how to check if a number has another num number as a divisor, but I don't know how to iterate through all the divisors. And then the job of the person who's answering the question will be way easier because he just has to explain to you how to iterate through all those numbers. Let's go now to the third step. Let's say you understood the problem, you found the solution, you have written the code, but something doesn't work. Please don't be the person who just pastes the code and then waits for the answer to come. If you are at step three, you can still go back at step two and explain your solution. If your solution is correct, then that means that along the way you miss some kind of detail in the implementation and you need to watch the video about how to debug your code, how to find errors in your solution. And if your solution is wrong, then someone will point that out and you will have the chance of fixing your solution and then implementing the correct one. So you don't need to paste code. The problems on well code are not that complicated. So pasting the code doesn't really help you in becoming a good programmer. Let's say that you are a step four now. You implemented the solution, you tested it really well on your local machine, but you sent it on well code and you didn't get 100 points. Instead of pasting the code or just saying, oh, I'm getting 90 points or I'm getting 80 points and I don't know why, you can explain to us how you tested your code. What were the cases that you tested against? If you are doing that, you may get help very fast because we'll know what were the corner cases that you missed. So please be very careful about that and please be as specific as possible in your questions. You can think about that the following way. You can imagine an axis and in the left part is very general, in the right part is very specific. And as you're getting closer to the part on the right, the speed in which you'll be given the answer will increase. So if, you're be, so if you are very specific, you'll get the answer way faster than if you're very general. Let's say there's someone who, whose job is just to answer questions. He'll still need to post a lot of follow-up questions in order to get from your general question to your specific problem because every problem in regards to programming is very specific. And now let's sum everything up. You need to be very specific in your questions. You need to be very nice because you want other people to be nice to you and everyone is trying to help you and help you become a better programmer. And also please don't post code. We also have a frequently asked questions page where we've put the most frequent mistakes and questions asked by the community. So make sure that you check that out. This video will also be on that page. So read it very, very carefully. And until next time, I wish you all the best and I hope you'll become a very, very good programmer.